Good evening and welcome to a very special edition of This Week in Linux. Tonight we're going to be talking about the Ubuntu Developer Summit, otherwise known as UDS. This is the 14th official UDS, since there have been 14 Ubuntu releases at this point. This one is actually focusing on Ubuntu Natty Narwhal 11.04, which we'll be releasing in April of next year. And of course, it being day one, they started things off with an introductory keynote presentation by none other than Ubuntu Community Manager John O'Bacon, who is also the frontman for Metal Band Severed Fifth. After the introduction was completed, the mic was passed over to Mark Shuttleworth, head of the Canonical Foundation, who gave a presentation talking about a load of new features that are coming to Ubuntu 11.04. There are only a couple that I'm going to talk about tonight, some that may or may not impact you. The first item that should be mentioned is that in Ubuntu 11.04, Unity is going to be the new default desktop interface. If you'd like to see how Unity currently works on a desktop, I did make a video on that last week, so I will have a link in the description. I will also have an annotation. There have actually been some blueprints drawn up already for how the new Unity interface will look. Rather than having the full screen applications menu like you'd expect from the Netbook Edition, there will be a much smaller launcher in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. You'll be able to move that bar that is on the left-hand screen with all the launchers wherever else you want it on the screen, be it the bottom, the side, the top, wherever else you want it to be. And other than that, the windows are all supposed to be floatable, so it won't have to have just one window taking up the entire interface. Basically, those things that make it a netbook-only interface will be going away. In addition, in an effort to help improve performance for this Unity interface, they're planning to try to move from Mutter, the backend they're currently using, to Compiz, a much more common, much more easy to get set up interface. Moving right along, some news was announced on the Software Center. As you may or may not know, in Ubuntu 10.10, .10, a for purchase section was added to the Ubuntu Software Center, allowing developers to put their applications out there for pay. That said, there are not very many applications out there at the moment. I believe there's only two. However, in the new version, in 11.04, they're going to be expanding the Software Center purchases significantly, but they're going to also be adding an option to allow you to sponsor an app. So you will pay exactly what you want to pay, not a penny more, not a penny less. Kind of goes along the whole idea of the humble indie bundle a few months back, where you would give as much or as little as you wanted to, however much you want to support the developer themselves. Now the last thing I heard, the for purchase section of the Software Center was only open to open source software. I don't know if they're going to be opening it to proprietary or not. A lot of proprietary software doesn't go for the pay what you want model though. And the last thing to mention is that Ubuntu is actually working on a brand new icon set. After they created their own new theme, they're going to have their own custom icon set. However, it doesn't look like it's coming for 11.04. They're aiming more toward the next LTS release at 12.04. Well, that's all I've got for you as far as Ubuntu Developer Summit Day 1. As more things happen during the week, I will, of course, let you know. So what do you guys think about the new Unity desktop interface and the pay-what-you-want-for-software in the Ubuntu Software Center? Let me know in the comments below or in a video response. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.